for the sign of Taurus. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So, Taurus, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got this Wheel of Fortune, and it's with the Four of Wands. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is actually a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times, whether it's bad times, just know that it passes. So, if all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective. As that too, like everything else, changes. You have to live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But that's even okay. Roll with the changes. And think positive. No, it's with the Four of Wands. Which often indicates that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So go. And have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going very well. You would be proud of yourself and others would be proud of you also. Now, although this is a positive card in the tarot, it does show that there could be a need for you to keep your wits about yourself. That although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, but just know that you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can sometimes mean that you might be thinking of moving or changing your place of residence. So, the message that I'm getting for the recent past energy between you and your person Will of Fortune clarified by this Four of Wands? For a lot of you tours, um, you were with, or you could still be with this person, someone that um, you felt very lucky to have, very lucky to be with. They felt the same way, and I say the same way because I'm looking at the Four of Wands, the card below the word pass. The way these two people are, wow, they're holding each other's hands, and their hands are wrapped in ribbon. It's shooting up to the sky. The ribbon, the ribbon is, and they're looking into each other's eyes, and they're both smiling like a well-lit Christmas tree. So you both feel fortunate to have each other. Because the will of fortune can be about fortune being in your favor, good luck, good fortune. And this was a connection that you felt um, it could go into marriage, long-term commitment, the next level, become a whole lot more committed. This was someone that you wanted this with, if it wasn't there already. Yeah, Four of Wands is actually ex absolutely beautiful. It's 1111, and it is considered the marriage and commitment card in the tarot. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Well, we got the Nine of Wands, and it's with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands, when this card comes up in a reading, the first and the best step. Is often take a deep breath, calm down, don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time. One hour at a time, if you could do so, because at least all the worries are going to turn out to be imaginary. And I say this because if you look at the Nine of Wands, it's the card above the word present. This man has caged himself in with all these wands. He's about to battle someone. Or defend himself against someone, but no one's actually coming towards him. It's just that you're not budging. When you get the Nine of Wands, no one gets past your barricade. So just know at least some of the worries. They'll turn out to be imaginary, so get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the true likelihood 
of the worry actually happening. Now, it's with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, it should be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately. But it's going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because you're thinking it's going to be on point. It's going to be clear. And you could actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. Seven of Wands, it is a card that points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So, the message I'm getting for you, Taurus, coming up, Nine of Wands, clarified by Seven of Wands. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what, what's going to happen, what's happening between you and a person coming up, but you might s start to feel like you want to maybe close yourself off from this person. For some reason, maybe you two had a disagreement or a fight, but this person is in it to win it, regardless of what happened. They're in this connection to win it, because the Seven of Wands is about wanting to be the last man standing, wanting to win. Um, they want to come out on top. They want to win this connection with you still. There's... there's you're still in it, but for some reason, something happened, and you might feel like closing yourself off from them or not letting them come near you. I'm just kidding that it's probably some, some type of blow-up or fight. Yeah. But anyway, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Maybe we'll get some more clarity. Now, we have the Two of Pentacles, and it's with the Knight of Swords. The Two of Pentacles, it can be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles. So you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. Maybe your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So you have to be sure that you're paying attention there. Now it's with the Knight of Swords, which can bring an upbeat, cheerful type of energy. It shows that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. This Knight of Swords, it can point to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you will definitely like what you hear. The Knight of Swords can have a, the type of energy of a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things done and accomplished. So you, as a Knight of Swords, you're not likely to want to wait for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. The Knight of Swords actually goes after their heart's desire. Okay, so, the message I'm getting for the challenge, Two of Pentacles, clarified by this Knight of Swords. Yeah, you could be dealing with someone that's um, long distance from you, or someone that's back and forth. Someone that um, does several things, someone that is always busy. Yeah, that could be a, that can be the problem here uh, with the two of pentacles showing up. Um, maybe a person has two jobs. Maybe they work long hours, a lot of hours. Maybe a person is a type that's that likes to make money, which is it's not bad. You don't want anybody that's broke, do you? So you got somebody that's. And I see, I say somebody that um, could like money because the, when you hear the word pinnacles, that's money, cash, coins, finance, income, and he's juggling two pinnacles, so 
He's trying to get the money to come in. So this person's always busy. Always busy. But just know that um, because the Knight of Swords is here, um, you could be offended by their busyness and you need this person to be more like the Knight of Swords. Just cut out anything to be with you. Yeah. So you, pr you probably don't appreciate the fact that they're always busy. Or you don't really understand it or you just don't like it. So you're, you're starting to wanting to close yourself off to this. Your mind is probably running. Thinking of things that they could be doing and they're not. Like I said with the Nine of Wands, some things could be imaginary, just all in your head. So, you could be the type that needs your person to cut out anything like this Knight of Swords. Cut it out. Just drop everything and come and get you. That's what the Knight of Swords does. He rushes in, he cuts out whatever gets in his way to be with their person. That's what you're wanting from this person. But they're trying to make money. They're working long hours. They live long distance. They're doing this. They're doing that. But just know, with the seven of wands here, this person is in it to win it. They do want to be the last man standing with you. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got judgment. And it's with this Five of Swords. Now, judgment can actually be a card to, about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments that are made too hastily. So, if you're prone to doing this, it could be a sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. Now, it's with the Five of Swords. With this card, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about life, maybe a few people, or a person in particular. Make sure you don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. Because this could ruin the things that you want the most, such as close intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So you gotta think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. It's about picking your battles when you get the Five of Swords. So Taurus, the outcome judgment clarified by this Five of Swords. Yeah, like I said, for some reason you need your person to come rushing in. Just stop what they're doing and rush in. Because your mind is making up things that are probably not there. That's what this is. That's what this reading is showing. Because they're busy. They do this. They live long distance. They do that. They're back and forth. They got. They work long hours. They're in school studying and they're working. So. Because they're not, they're not able to drop everything, not right now for you. You, 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 for some of you, you're, you're, you're mad. I guess because it's the holidays, it's around the holidays and then we got the New Year's coming and you hear everyone else celebrating with their person. And maybe you're not that lucky. Not yet. We got other holidays coming. We got Valentine's. We got Easter. Yeah. Well, we just have the weekends. But your person, uh, maybe they couldn't get off for the holidays. They couldn't take off work for the holidays. You're not happy. Five of Swords, if you look at the picture of Five of Swords, this man, he has two swords in his hand. It's the card below the word outcome. Two swords in his hand. Three at his feet. Or on the ground. And he's running around, really angry. 
There were people sitting there at the fire, you see. They got a glimpse of him and they all scrammed. And you see those wolves or dogs in front of them? They just got a glimpse of them and they're about to get the heck out of town. So you just probably, for a lot of you tourists, you're scaring people because you're, you're coming across as really angry and uptight. Because you, a lot of you, you're not with your person around the holidays. Or you're not with them as often as you would like for them to be. Yeah, you want them to be like the Nine of Swords. Just stop everything. Come rush in, rush in and come get you. Take you out. Sweep you off your feet. But, they gotta make money. They gotta do what they're doing. They're busy. It makes you feel like you're not on their priority list, but no. Seven of Wands is here. It's saying that they want this. They want to be the last man standing. They want to win the connection with you, Taurus. 